guys if you want to get more than 750 from sat exam you need to know this most well and follow my page so guys last days for may exam and i want to solve this question for you which is one of the hard section for the sat so it's about linear algebra so as you know from the algebra they will be 35 percent of the question will be about this topic so guys let's read line h there's line h the table shows three values for x and the corresponding value of y okay line k is the result of line h first of all what's the question of line y equals to mx plus c without decimals if you want to find the question of line you need to find m you need to find c then plug in the numbers but we know we can use decimals for this question so let's go open decimals in decimals there are plus section which is add item press this and there are table so there are some values for x and y then let's see what is x 18 23 and 26 so the value of y 130 160 and 178 178 write the numbers then there are add regression section so press the and then it will give you the equation of line and the graph so i found a h right? what is h 6x plus 22 desmos gave us this formula so h is y equals to 6x plus 22 without doing any formula we find that now let's look what the question is line k so we have new line k which is h unit down i mean sorry five units down from h so h is 6x plus 22 then equation of k will be 6x plus 22 right then five units down that's why minus five okay five units down minus five so a new y will be 6x plus 17 what the question asks the question asks from you what is the value of x intercept x intercept means that y equals to zero so guys y equals to zero it means that as a coordinate you can show this one x and zero let's find x uh, y zero equals to 6x plus 17 and x is negative 17 over 6 answer is d so now i just explained the question that's why it takes time but in the exam you can just write easily the numbers and it will take at most your 40 seconds so you will save your time for the hardest question good luck guys